as government talks about building back better. Our new figures show many in this trade are finding it hard to build at all. Stan, now in his 90s, is hoping to move into this extension of his son's home, but already it's five months delayed. I've been on my own for a long, long while, and my son was getting worried about me. And the, and the radiator to be put up, and the shower to be connected. So when that's going to be, I, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's such a long while. I've never known it to be as long as this. From the smallest DIY project to the very largest development, construction relies on getting the right materials to the right place and at the right price. But new figures show the sheer extent of disruption. Industry research given to ITV News shows 86% of firms supplying construction materials are now facing shortages, with deliveries delayed by up to four weeks. And prices have rocketed over 12 months. A 100% rise for timber, 20% for bricks, cement up as much as 25%. The lorry driver shortage is intensifying supply problems created by the pandemic. Some building materials are being rationed. Some of our suppliers are restricting the amount of goods that they will fulfil to us and that is based upon their ability to deliver. Around the country, big projects are on hold. The renovation of Shotley Pier in Suffolk has been delayed, with volunteer fundraisers now facing their own rising tide of costs. Products are going up in cost. It's more difficult to get hold of them. It's more difficult to transport them. And so uh, we'll, we'll be paying more, I'm sure. This industry wants a temporary change to planning rules, allowing use of substitute materials if needed. Without help, they fear it's only delays and prices that will be rapidly building up. Chris Choi, ITV News.